Yes, sir, brother. Good afternoon, my brothers and sisters. And respect to you, Mr. Minister James. Yes, sir. Uh, I don't have the microphone. If you like. Respect to you and all of the brothers and sisters here in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas where I live. My brother, I hope you enjoy your stay here. Yes, sir. I hope that you will come back. I will. I hope that you will spread the good news. Yes, sir. That uh, is better in the Bahamas. And so I hope you enjoy your stay and your brothers. But the question I have for you today, I've listened to you, it's on salvation. Mm -hmm. How one become a member, notice I'm saying, a member of the body of Christ according to Colossians 1, 18. Mm -hmm. And according to 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. And according to Ephesians 1, 13. And according to Ephesians 2, 8, 9, and according to Ephesians 4, 30. Mm -hmm. According to Galatians 3 and 26, I mean, Galatians 3 and 26 and 27, that we are all baptized into the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. But I've heard you, I've listened to you on Acts 2, 38. Mm -hmm. So when I read Acts 238, Acts 36, 37, 38, Peter preached on the day of Pentecost. He was not speaking to you, Pastor Jennings. He was not speaking to us. He was speaking to the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. They gathered there for a feast. It was prophesied by Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so it disturbs me. <clears throat> and persons believe what they want to believe. But I think that salvation is the most important thing. Yes, sir. And if we don't get salvation right, we can get nothing else right. So what is your question, sir? My question to you, sir. My question to you, sir. Do persons get or have they become born again by Acts 2, 38? All right. Let's go to work in the Bible. And not only that, being that you're emphasizing Israel, are you saying salvation is just for Israel? No, salvation right. was for the Jews first. Yes. And then, yes. salvation for the whole world. Oh, so it is for everybody. So we got to rightly, according to 2 Timothy 2.15, mm -hmm. we must rightly divide. So salvation time. is for everybody. Everyone, but it must be rightly divided because there's different salvation in the Bible. I just want to know, is salvation for everybody? For everyone, but everybody don't get saved oh, the I, way Israel got saved. The way I mean, we get saved how, today. How many ways is it to be born again? Now, first on the whole, sir, Rick, you know, I love you. I love how you demonstrate. Yes. Uh, there are many ways in the Bible. Mm -hmm. To be born again? No, to be born again, because you, Mr. Jennings, Pastor Jennings, cannot be born again. Sir, how many ways? According to the Bible, is it to be born again? Only one way we can be created. I didn't ask a new that. creature. Uh, sir, but born just, just a minute, sir. I didn't ask you how many ways to be created. I asked you how many ways is it to be born again? Because if we are born again, we was already born the first time, which is our natural birth coming from the womb of our mothers. Agreed. But if it says born again, then he's instituting what Jesus declared to be a new birth. So then, how many ways is it to be born again according to the Bible? It is one way to be born again, and that's Israel to be born again, Jeremiah 31 and 31. So just Israel is born again? Yes, we are created in the body oh, of Christ. Oh, so... See, creation and born again is too different. We're not dealing with creation. No, the body of Christ has to be created anew and become a new creature. So if the body of Christ has to be created anew, how do we get in that body? Very good question. How do we get in? That's, that's, the, that's the best question ever put to me in my 70 years. How do we get into the body according to the Bible? 
1 Corinthians chapter 15, 1 through 4. Read Hold it. it. Let's go to work in the Bible. Let's go to work in the Bible. 1 right. Corinthians chapter 15. 1 through 4. 1 through 4. First Follow me in the Bible. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 4. All right. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, mm -hmm. which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, mm -hmm. unless ye have believed in vain. Yes. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. At verse 4. And that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. All right. Now, which one of those verses tell me how to get into the body? First Corinthians, you have to go back now to... Ephesians 1. No, 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 no. Before we, just, just a minute. Just a minute. This is, this is your scripture. Yes, but that's the Bible scripture. Let's, let's, God's here. Word. let's stay right here. Right. No need to hop no way else until we finish this. No, I already said that's no. self-explanatory. You said that this tells us how to get in the body. It's how to be saved. Correct. How to be saved. How to get into the body. That's how to be saved, it says. So, so. S-A-V-E-D, saved. So we are saved if we keep in memory, which is what? What is preached? That Christ, what is preached? What was preached? The gospel is right there. All right. I'm so glad you say that. Now, you're saved if you keep in remembrance. Saved means to be delivered. That's if, right. here, if you delivered from a thing, you're saved from it or rescued from it. Would you not agree? I agree 1,000%. So if I'm in the fire, somebody come save me. They come rescue me and get me out of it. Jesus came. To rescue us, save us, get us out of sin. So then, if we're saved by keeping in remembrance what is preached unto us, let's see what we got to remember. St. John chapter Jimmy 3. Luke. No, 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 no. Now just a minute. Sir. Now just a minute. You are running from no, the no, 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 no. Listen, I gave you time to talk, and I'm still elaborating on the scripture you gave. So let me finish. God give it. Let that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me finish now. I'm elaborating on the scripture, scripture you gave. It's you God said word. say. Is that God's word? Oh, yes. Okay. That's all, that's all we're dealing with. Let's rightly divide it. That's all we're dealing with. Okay. All right. You are saved if you keep in remembrance what is preached unto you, lest you believe in vain. I believe that with my whole heart. Oh, yes. Now let's go to the one that taught the apostles. Because the apostles got to remember what was preached to them. That's right. Luke. Luke chapter 24 and at verse 47. That's what? And that repentance. Oh, we got to remember this. And that repentance. And that repentance. And remission of sins. And remission of sins. Should be preached. Should. Should be preached. How? In his name. Where? Among all nations. Beginning where? Beginning at Jerusalem. Let's go to Jerusalem. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. This is what Jesus commands. Then Peter and said unto them. Saved. This is your scripture. Your scripture. That's the word if of God. This is the scripture you brought. But that's the word of God. I agree. It's God's word. The scripture you presented. That I agree with. And I agree 100% that you are saved. If you keep in remembrance what I preached unto you, lest you believe in vain and the teaching of the gospel, the teaching of the doctrine that the apostles preached came from Christ. That's right. So I'm going back to the foundation, which is Christ. I disagree. Because other foundation can no man lay than that which is laid, the Bible says, which is Jesus Christ. Right. So I have to go to the foundation, the author and finisher and the originator of our faith, of our belief, is not the apostles is the originator, Christ is Christ. the originator, because he's the foundation of the church. All right, let's hear what Jesus said. Can I respond Still in Luke 24 and verse 47. Luke 24, 47. And that repentance. This is Christ's teaching. Amen. That repentance. And remission of sins. And remission or removing of sins. Should be preached. Should. If you don't preach it, you're a hypocrite and a heathen. Should and be preached. That's right. Should be preached. In what? his name. How? Um, in his name. How? In his name. Beginning where? Among all nations. Wait, beginning. Wait, wait, wait. No, just to the Jews. Among all nations. No, just the Hebrew. Among all nations. Just nope. the black folk. Among all nations. 
That's the people with kinky hair. Among all nations. Beginning where? Among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. Beginning where? At Jerusalem. All right, let's forget the, we're going to trail this. Question. First, yes, sir. Sir. Yes. With all respect, with the spirit of God that mm. lives within me, according to Ephesians 4.30. Mm -hmm. The book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And I will challenge you. Well, that's what you're now, doing. Hear this now. No, I'm telling you the scripture. Yeah. And, can, and you can have to fulfill the scripture by 2 Timothy 2.15. Yeah. And hear what it says. It says, study to show thyself approved unto God. Now, that a workman, that a laborer, be not ashamed rightly. Yes. See, this is, this is the problem that I have on some things that you believe in. Fine. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay. The truth of God's word must be, not, not kind of be, must be rightly divided. So where am I wrong at? Well, let me tell you where you're wrong. That's what I want you to do. You are wrong. You went. I took you to Apostle Paul, who were called, he were called by Jesus Christ. I Read agree. 1 Corinthians 1. I agree. Now, he on the road to Damascus, Acts 9. Mm -hmm. And sir, with all respect, when Jesus was on earth, yes. and you cannot find me one scripture in that Bible, yes. in the word of God, you, sir, with all respect, cannot yes. find me one scripture where Jesus, when he was on this earth, yes. he walked this earth in the flesh, yes. that he preached the gospel of grace. He preached the gospel of, of grace? Of grace. What is grace? Grace is a person. According to Titus 2. Grace. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Just, just, oh, just a minute, just a minute. Hold grace up. is a person, Titus 2, 10 and 11. Grace is a person. For the grace of God Who had appeared to Saint. all men. Wait a minute. Not just, Jesus Christ. Just a minute. Saint. Grace is a person. It's a person. And I can show you this person, Saint Jesus. John. All right. Give me John. St. John chapter 1 uh, and at verse 17. Listen to that, John 1, 17. For the law was given by Moses. The law. Now you said Jesus never preached it. Let's see. Here, just a minute. Hold up. No. The law Don't was do that. given by Moses. No, no. The law. Don't tell me don't do that. No, I got to do it. I got to give you Bible. No, what right. you did. The law was given by Moses. Was given by Moses or Musa. But grace, grace and truth and truth came by Jesus Christ. Do you believe that? Listen. Now watch this. No, no. Do no, you no, believe no. that? I believe that. Do you me. believe that? One hundred thousand. I believe that. Did, so, did it come by Jesus? Yes. But watch this. Did so. he preach it? Yes. Watch it. Wait, wait, no, wait. He didn't minute. preach grace. Just a minute. That's grace and truth. Grace. grace. Grace and truth came, oh, no. came by Jesus. Jesus Christ. He is Jesus. Grace and truth is Jesus. I agree. And it, just just grace and truth is Yahushua. I'm so glad you said that. Grace and truth is Yahushua, is Yahushua, and did not Yahushua preach about himself? No. He didn't? Grace he and truth. No, hold up. He, no, he never did. preached he did about not, himself? No, he did not. Did he not say, my father who dwelleth in me he doeth, uh -huh. the works. doeth the works? in me he did he not say no man cometh to the father except by me and you dare tell me he didn't preach about himself no he didn't no that is the bible lie that's right let's read this saint john chapter 14 follow me in the bible and at verse 10 follow me in the bible believest thou not Listen at Jesus now. Believest thou not? Now I'm asking you the same thing. Believest thou not? Believest thou not? That I yes. am in the Father? Wait a minute. Uh -huh. He's preaching about who? That I am in I, the Father? I, 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 I am in the Father. Uh -huh. I am in the Father. Now, now who's not rightly divided? Hold up. You will, here, you will dare insult Jesus. Believest thou and not? say he didn't preach about himself? No, listen. You don't know the Bible. No, but Look that's at what, what Jesus said. I believest thou not that I... That's your question. Believest thou okay. not... Believest thou not... That I... I... Am in the Father. I... Is I, he talking about himself? Listen, yes. Now... Uh, that I, I... I am in the Father. I am in the Father. And the Father in and me. the Father... It's in me. The words that I speak. Wait a minute. Hallelujah. What he said? The words that I speak. The words that what? The words that I speak. You stood here and said, I cannot find nowhere in the Bible uh -huh. that Jesus talked about himself. No, I didn't say that. Preach. Let's see what it said. Let's see what I said. I, I said, preach about himself. The words preach that I speak. about himself. The words that I speak unto Jesus you. Jesus said. Preach. The words that I here, speak. Here, 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 Pastor Dennis. Here, hear me good. And I say this to every preacher, and I don't care who you are. Don't fight the truth of God. No, never will. Don't fight it. 
You're going to stand here Mr. and My everybody Lord. heard you. I'm not putting words in your mouth. Mr. Jennings. You said say Jesus this? ain't never. In fact, you okay. said I can never get a scripture. Okay, right. share this up. Let, let me finish. Can I clarify that? Let me finish. Okay. Let me finish because I heard you out. I said that. Okay. Believest thou not? Now you got to believe it. That's right. I believe. Let me just say this for all the audience. Yes. I believe every thought, every tittle, uh -huh. every letter. Yes. From Genesis 1 so who lied, to then? Revelation chapter 22, amen. You believe yeah, it? Yeah, this, sir. Yeah, yeah, this, sir. I'm not, I'm not I believe I'm not finished every, with this. Okay, but I wanted to say this. So you believe it, that. correct? I believe it. So you believe it? I believe it. So you lied then? No, I did not. So you lied? I did not. All right, what did Jesus say? Believe it thou not that I am in the Father. Do you believe that? I don't want to evade this, sir. I'm not. Don't evade I'm, this. I'm sticking right here. No, no, no. But I'm sticking we with the Bible, We got two statements on the floor. Yeah, me, sir. One statement that you said that I can't give you no Bible that what? Jesus talk about himself. No, and I said I preach. Ask you, preach preach about himself. Not. What yeah, is he doing here? Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom. The words that he I never preached preach about himself. He never preached about himself. He preached the, the gospel of the kingdom. But well, let me ask you something. Here. When a per yeah, let me ask Jesus you, let, listen, preached the gospel listen, of the kingdom. I agree. Let me ask you a question. You agree? Bro. Let me ask you. Yes, I, do you agree? I agree. He preached 100 the gospel. 100%? Yes, sir. Okay. He preached the gospel of the kingdom. Uh -huh. When you preach, are you speaking? When you preach? The are words you speaking? that are you I speak. Speaking? According to when you speak, you don't have to always be preaching. Yeah. When you preach, are you speaking? Because the Bible said the Spirit speaketh that's wrestling. Listen. Was Jesus a preacher? Jesus was a preacher of the Jews. Was he? I agree. So what is he doing here? Did you agree? Yes, yes. Oh, thank so God what is he doing agree. here? Thank God you agree. So what is he doing here? What he's doing there? Yes, he's he preaching the gospel of the kingdom to the Jewish, his Jewish people. All right. He claimed his own and his own received him not. That's nice. His own yes. in Acts 2, 38. Yes. They killed him. I agree. They crucified I him. I agree. And Peter told them they must repent. I agree. He never told you, Mr. Jennings, and me, or none of y'all to repent. Never? Never. All right. Hold that statement. Hold, Hold that, that statement. statement. Hold Acts. Yeah. Everybody, everybody settle down. Acts Hold that statement because I believe he's honest and I believe he's sincere. But I'm you a, don't, yeah. I, I'm a member of the body of Christ, bro. Listen. I'm a minister yeah, 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 in the body yeah, of Christ. Yeah, now. Yeah. Because I'm trying to help because you don't know what you're talking about at all. Oh, I know. All right. Oh, let's, I know. Let's finish this. Let's finish this because he said, Jesus, I can't get no Bible where Jesus, Jesus ever preached about himself. Jesus really? preached the gospel of the kingdom. Let's but hear this. St. John 14, still at verse 10. That's what? Believest thou not that I am in the Father? I, am in, I, I. Personal pronoun. That's right. I am in the Father. And the Father in me. And the Father in me. The words that I speak the unto you. The words. How much Bible can I give you? That's right. The words that I. That I speak unto you. What are they? I speak not of myself. But I the, speak not on my own. But the Father that but dwelleth the Father in me. the Spirit that is in me. He doeth the works. He Doeth the word. Verily, verily, I say unto truly, you. Truly, truly, I say to you. He that believeth on me. Oh, and he keep pointing to himself. That's right. All right. All right. He that believeth on me. The works that I do. The works that I do. Shall he do shall also. Shall he do also. And greater works than these works shall, than he these do, shall he do. Because I go unto the Father. All right. He said repentance is not for everybody. It's just for the Jews. Acts chapter 17 and Let's verse 30. See. Let's see what the Bible said. Acts chapter 17 and at verse 30. Next subject. He said repentance is not for everybody. It's Lord. not for the body of Christ. It's not for the body of Christ. No. Now think of what you said. No place yes, Apostle yes, Paul yes, never teach repentance. Ooh. Apostle well, hold, 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 hold. Paul. Just a minute. Listen. Just a minute. Apostle Paul doctrine. Yes. He preach faith and belief. So the apostles never preach repentance. To who? Oh, not to the body of Christ. They didn't? Not to the body of Christ. They, give me to the, the Jews. Give me the to the Jews, but not to the body of Christ. Give me the seventeenth chapter. Final page preached yeah. to the body of Christ. Uh, here, here now. Now, look at the situation he putting the body of Christ in. The body of Christ. Just a minute. Colossians 1.18. Just, just a minute, brother. Christ is the head of this body. Just a minute. And this is a spiritual body. Just a minute. God does not have a church, a physical church in this earth. Wonderful. God yeah. doesn't have a physical church just in this earth. He has a spiritual body. Just a minute. And he's the head of the body. Just a minute. Colossians 1 18. Just a minute. Yes, sir. Just a minute. Now. I want everybody to pay attention. Listen at the statement that the apostles never preach repentance to the body of Christ. So that means the apostles never preach you should be sorry about your wrong, that you should have remorse about your wrong, 
because you are never convicted about your wrong. So if they never preach repentance to the body of Christ, that's telling me that nobody in the body of Christ needs forgiveness. No, that's not what the scripture say. Because where there's repentance, there's forgiveness. That's, right. that's, that's, that's not complicated. So then, if nobody in the body of Christ needs forgiveness, that would mean, every, are you in the body of Christ? Oh, I'm, and I'm, I was created according to Ephesians 4, 24. All right, all right, uh, brother. I was created yeah, yeah, in yeah, the man. body. Yeah, yeah, man. Brother, mm -hmm. are you in the body of Christ? Yes, sir. You're in the body of Christ? Yes, sir. Have, did you do any sin? I born in sin. No, 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 sin. I about born. I, I still sin and you still Just sin. Just a minute. Do you still sin? Do you still sin? Yes. Okay, I still sin. But you're in the body. I'm in the body spiritually. Do you need to repent for it? I don't need to repent for I'm in the body. You don't need to repent? According to Romans 8.1. Just, 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 just a minute. Listen to it. Acts chapter just 17 and verse just 30. Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Everybody please listen. I want y'all to listen as a reason. Listen as a reason. Yeah, just a minute. I, I, I don't want none of y'all. Don't, 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 don't yell out. Don't, don't yell out. None of y'all yell out. I want everybody to listen because this is good learning. Here is a mortal human being who has flaws and errors, and he admit he sins. You too, sir. Right. Okay, let's move on. But I'm not foolish enough to say I ain't going to repent. Repent from what? If, a, if your neighbor yes, does yes, 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 a minute, just a minute. You don't repent yes, for your sins. Yes, a minute. Sins. Yeah. All right. If you do wrong, do you seek forgiveness? If I do wrong, I go to the person. No, 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 no. I right. go to, if I do wrong you to, go to an the person. individual, and I said, and, I and said you seek forgiveness. I was, listen to me. This is, what, this is what the Bible teaches. Yes. We were created to do good works. Yes. Hear this now. If you have offended me, uh -huh. if you have offended me, yes. the Bible teaches you must go to your brother. I agree. Listen to me. And say to him, if I had offended yes. you, Forgive me. Do you sin against God? Listen to me. No, I don't sin against God in the spirit. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Listen to what I'm saying. Thou hast sinned against Young man, excuse me. Let's get some, don't ahead. take my you scripture to the content. Let's get back. I say I don't sin against God oh. in the spirit. What you do to my least ones? Give me that. I want to bow. Romans 8 1. Read it. Romans 8 1. Read it. Hmm. Romans 8 1. We're, Romans 8 1. Let's get Psalms. I don't here, sin here, in here, the spirit. Here, here, First Psalms, here, Pastor. Here, here now. Psalms. Here now. Romans 8 1. Read that for me. Here now. We're going to get Psalms because he said he don't sin against God. In the spirit. Don't kiss my words is now, Is God sir. a spirit? Listen, he is a spirit. Do you sin against that spirit? No, sir. My All Lord. Right, hold it. Psalms. Hold it right there. Listen at the Bible. Psalms 51 and at <laughs> verse 4. Everybody, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. Here's a mortal man who says when he sins, he don't sin against God. No, I did not say I don't sin in the spirit. You don't. According to Romans 8, 1. You don't sin. I'm in Christ. If you're. I am perfect in Christ. Righteous in Christ. Yes. Have been sanctified in Christ. Uh -huh. Been also been justified by if the blood of Jesus if Christ. If you're sinning, are you perfect? Sinning? No, I cannot. If you commit I, one sin, are you perfect? I am in, in the flesh. Are you perfect in, in the flesh? In sin? I am perfect in the spirit. You're perfect in the spirit. Yes, sir. Well. Romans 8, 1. Read it. All right, Romans 8, 1. Everybody, everybody be quiet. Romans 8, 1. Listen, Roman, let, listen, let, are you going to let the brother read? Let the brother read. read. He's trying to read for you. Read, read it. Come here, read it. Romans 8, 1. I want everybody to hear Romans chapter 8 and verse 1. Listen. There is therefore now no condemnation. Yes. The words I speak unto you that which are in Christ, the Lord Jesus. Yes. Who walk not after the flesh. Oh, but what? But after the spirit. I agree. All right, now, there's no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus on terms. Terms? Then, that's what the Bible says. Just a minute now. But the Bible didn't say this, that. Yes. On terms. Brother, are you going to let me finish? Okay. Let brother finish. Because the brother read the scripture and he read the terms. Yes. That's right. Notice this, he didn't see that. That's right. Listen. He, he read the scripture, how you're not condemned, but then he also read in the same verse the terms, the terms. that keep you from being condemned. Just no. a minute, just, just a minute. Romans chapter 8 and verse 1. This, this is his scripture that Ro my brother read. Romans chapter 8 and verse 1. Follow me. There is therefore now no condemnation. There is therefore now no condemnation. To them which are in Christ Jesus. Now, when you're in Christ Jesus, it means when you're following his teaching and you are obedient to his teaching, 
And when you do that, what is it? Who walk not after the flesh. You're not condemned when you don't walk after the flesh. That's the term. But after the spirit. And if you walk after the spirit, then you won't be condemned. Con condemned. Uh, condemned. But if you, but read on, read on. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus what is it? has made me free from the law of sin and death. Hallelujah. For what the law could not do. What the law? Under the law? Yeah, just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Okay. What the law couldn't do while, why? In that it was weak. The law was what? Weak to the, the flesh. Weak to the flesh. To the to the flesh. God sending his own son. For what? In what the likeness did? of sinful flesh. What did he get to sin? For sin. What did he get to sin? He did what? God sending his own son in yeah. the likeness of sinful flesh. What did he do? And for sin. For sin. What did he do? Dim sin. He condemned Hallelujah. Dim sin Where? in the flesh. Right. Ah. Now let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. You're in the body. Yes, sir. Your flesh sin. Yes, sir. When your flesh sin, is it condemned? Yes, sir. So your flesh is condemned. Yes, sir. And yet you're in the body. Yes, sir. And you're under condemnation. No, not me in the spirit, in the flesh, as a natural man. Romans 8, 1 just says, in Christ. You want to know something? In Christ. Listen. In Christ. Just a minute. In Christ. Listen. In Christ. When you're in Christ, what does that mean? You obey him, okay? Uh, no, listen what it means. Just a minute. Not what your interpretation well, says. Can anybody be properly in Christ and not obey him? Listen to me. Answer me. As a natural man? Can no. As a natural man. Be in Christ and not obey him. As a natural man? No. So, are you a spirit? I live in the spirit that the spirit that God kept put in my spirit yes. according to Ephesians 4.24. So, Read it. What is the spirit? Read it. What Ephesians 4.24. What is the spirit? The spirit is truth. The spirit is God. The spirit is life. Is the spirit God's word? In the beginning, John 1.1. I ain't talking about that. Hold up. I'm not talking about in that. In the John. beginning was the word. I agree. Okay. So who is the spirit? God. God is the spirit? Not a spirit, spirit. I agree. God is the spirit? Yes, spirit. The, the speech of Jesus, was that spirit? The words he says speak is spirit and life. Oh, so if I don't live by the words he speak, am I in sin? You don't live by all of the words he speak. I didn't that. No, I'm asking if you. If you don't live... By the words that Jesus speak, do you sin? Do you sin in the flesh? Yes, we all do. All of us. So you all sin? Of all of us. So you got to repent. Repent for what? In the spirit? You are perfect in Christ. Lord. You're perfect in Christ. Uh, in the flesh. All right, I want to. And, wanna, and uh, I appreciate here. that. Everybody here. God Let's, bless you. Just a minute. Uh, you can take a seat, brother. You can take a seat. Yes. I want everybody here. Now, he said. Yeah, just, 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 y'all be quiet now. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't yell out. Don't yell out at him. Don't yell out at him. Because he's reading scriptures that he don't understand. <laughs> now listen, he says, I ask a question. When you sin, do you sin against God? He right. says no. He says no. Let's see what the Bible says. Psalms 51, we'll start at verses 3 and Follow 4. Follow me. Psalms 51, verses 3 and 4. Listen. For I acknowledge my transgression. Wait. Here's a prophet. And I know he ain't no prophet. No. King David was a man after God's own heart. He said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, one that shall fulfill all my will. Now listen to what he says about the prophet. For, for, for I acknowledge my transgressions. The prophet said, I admit my wrong and my sin. And my sin is ever before me. Is ever in my presence. Against thee. Against thee. The only. Against thee only. Have I sinned. You say you never sinned against God. I didn't say that. I said in the spirit I can't sin. And what did that quote in the Psalms? Psalms 51 and verse 4. Against thee. According to Ephesians 4. According to Ephesians 4. The Holy Spirit a lives within you Just a minute. and lives within Since you. The prophets had the Spirit of God in no, them. No, the Spirit that the give Holy Ghost, the, the Holy Ghost used to come give, upon. Give me, give me the book. The Holy of Spirit Peter. used to come upon. Give me the book of Not Peter. Not in. The Bible says the holy men of God speak as they was moved. By the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Spirit come upon them, not in them. No, First Peter it, chapter it, one. It never was in them. Not was First in Peter them. First Peter chapter one. The Holy one. Ghost come upon them. Hold it. Give me that. First Peter Hold chapter it. one. Listen to me. Give me that. Then give me Ezra. Let thy Holy Spirit come into me. First Peter chapter one verses one and eleven. Search give me Ezra quick now. Just get Peter first. First Peter chapter one. And at verse 11. Don't, don't, don't talk back to him. Don't talk back to him. Just, I want y'all to just hear Bible. Okay. Hear this. Against searching what? Searching what? Or what matter of time? Or what matter of time? The Spirit of Christ which was in them. No, he said it wasn't in them. 
Somebody's a liar. Just wait, 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 before you say anything, just, just listen at the Bible. Searching because what? Because you plainly said that the spirit was not in the prophets. It just moved upon them. And you can't deny that. That's what you said. Now let's hear the Bible. Searching what? Searching what? Or what matter of time? What matter of time? The spirit of Christ. The spirit of Christ. Which was in, which them, was in them. Did signify. Did signify. When it testified when it beforehand testified the sufferings of Christ. The sufferings of Christ. So the spirit of Christ wasn't only upon them, but it also was in them. That's right. All right. Now. Second want, Esprus. Now here. Everybody listen. Everybody listen. Everybody be quiet and listen. Because he erred. He said the spirit just moved on him and wasn't in him. Well, I'm going to believe what the Bible said. That's right. All right, let's get my second witness. Second Estrus, chapter 14. Second Estrus. Chapter 14. Chapter 14. And verse 22. Verse 22. But if I have found grace before <laughs> thee. Listen to that, Ezra. If I have found grace before, before thee. Send the Holy Ghost. This is Old Testament. Yeah. Send the Holy Ghost. Into me. Here's chapter and verse. Second Estrus chapter 14 and verse 22. Says what? But if I have found grace before if thee. If I have found grace before thee. Send the Holy Ghost. Send the Holy Ghost. Into me. Into me. And I shall write. Hallelujah. How you think the word of God was written? That's right. By the prophets. The Holy Ghost didn't only move on them. It got in them. Got in them. And the holy men of God spake and they was moved by the Holy Ghost. And the same thing that got on them got in them. Like the same thing that's on me is in me now. That's right. But if I, thing. That's right. Any of you out here saying the spirit of God only was on the prophets and never was in them, you don't believe the Bible. That's right. That's not right dividing the Bible. You 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 half divided. You but, not right divided. Listen right. at the Bible. Second Esther 14 and verse 22. This is plain. But if I have found grace before thee, if I found grace before thee, send the Holy Ghost into me. Send it where? Into me. No, just let it move on my head. Send the Holy Ghost into me. No, let it sit on my shoulder. Send the Holy Ghost into me. Let it just wander, wander around. Send the Holy Ghost into me. If the prophet asked God for the Holy Ghost to come in him, everybody, fall on God's grace right. and ask the Holy Ghost to come in you. That's right. And that's what you better do. All right. Salvation. He said salvation is just for Jewish folk. It's just for Jewish folk. Think of it. Let's get the famous scripture. St. John 316. The famous scripture. St. John 316. Knows. Says what? For God so loved the world. No, God just loved one ethnic group. For God so loved the world. You see, this is the same thing that white supremacists teach. Right. And I fight white supremacists all around the world because they believe that just white folk are chosen people and many of our black brothers think just blacks that are Jews are chosen people and I'm declaring to the world all the sheep Jesus said that I have. That is not of the soul. The other sheep that he had that's not of the soul, them shall I bring in. Those were Gentiles. That's right. Not just Jews. That's right. Or we take God, the Apostle Peter went among other sheep. Other sheep. The house of Cornelius. That's right. Preached the word of God there. Holy Ghost fell on those of the Italian bands. That's right. They were not Jews. They were Gentiles. That's right. But they received the light gift. That's right. Just like the Jews obtained it. That's right. That black supremacy trash, I beat it into hell. Amen. All right. Who else have some next questions here? Come on, son. Make it quick because I'm on the clock. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Greetings, greetings. Um, I just have a question um, pertaining to the Holy Ghost. Because um, like what the Bible says, you get baptized for the remissions of sins. Yes. And then the Holy Ghost would come into you. Mm -hmm. um, so I received my tongues um, while I was in falsehood. And I wasn't baptized yet, so I just wanted to know some clarification on that. Give right it a chapter the book of Acts of the Apostles. Acts chapter 10. And the we'll question start is, is it possible to receive the Holy Ghost? Before you're baptized, yes. 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 But the Holy Ghost falls the same manner as the baptism is given upon a repentant life. That's right. The Holy Ghost don't fall upon nobody who don't have a repentant heart. That's right. While Peter in the fourth teeth. Chapter, chapter of the book of Acts. Give chapter and verse again. Acts chapter 10 and verse 44. Beg your pardon. Acts chapter 10, begin at verse 44. Follow me. You can be seated. Listen. While Peter yet spake these words. While Peter yet spake the word. The Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. And remember. When Peter was preaching, they didn't have the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ yet here. Listen, 
And they are the circumcision they, which believe or astonish. Look at here. Look at here. Yet he said the message is just for Jews. And here we right here amidst Jews and Gentiles. That's right. Circumcised and uncircumcised. That's right. Listen. And they of the circumcision which believed were astonished. That were believing Jews were amazed. As many as came with Peter. As many as came with Peter. Because that on the Gentiles also. On a other, another ethnic group, what did they obtain? Was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. How did they know it? For they heard them speak with tongues. And what? And magnify God. And what answered Peter? Then answered Peter, can any man forbid water? So they received the baptism of the Holy Ghost first, but it comes upon a repentant heart. That's right. Godless sorrow works with repentance unto life. That repentance is just not centered around water baptism. That's right. That repentance is centered around your life with God, period. If you want the Holy Ghost, you got to have a repentant heart. Before you're baptized, you got to have a repentant heart. And if you got that repentant heart before you go down in water, the Holy Ghost can come in you and fill you with the Spirit even before you get in water. That's right. But it all comes. Or to God on the repentant heart. Can any man forbid water? Can anybody uh, forbid water? That these should not be baptized, which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we. What did he do? And he commanded them to be baptized. Wait. This is your salvation. This is your new birth. New birth. This is the way you're born again. That's right. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man is born again, again. of water. And spirit. Here is the water right here. Can any man forbid water? What? That, can any man forbid water? Can you? Any man. Can you forbid anybody? Any man. That goes for everybody here that's on the island of the Bahamas, all 700 islands. Can any man forbid can any water? Of you, I don't care if you think you're a preacher, pastor, prophet, if you're Gabriel's cousin. Can any man forbid can water? You forbid water? That these should not be baptized. That you shouldn't be baptized? Which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we. Then what did... God saved through Peter. And he commanded them. Oh, no. He asked them. He commanded them. He requests. He commanded them. To do what? To be baptized in the name of the Lord. If you don't obey this command, your sins ain't washed away. That's right. You're still a sinner. That's right. And you're still in your sins. So, yes, it's possible to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue before you receive water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Acts chapter.